My name is LaTanya Rice and I'm a student here at Pierce College going for my degree in Business Administration and Project Management. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about three of the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey. Today we're going to run through beginning with the end in mind, synergize, sharpening the saw, and then I'll go through a conclusion. Now, beginning with the end in mind, i give you a little bit of example, because for me, this is where you start at the end with a really powerful punch, and it helps you create your way through the middle and the beginning and making it a great presentation all around. For me, when I'm writing a book or I'm writing a poem, my end in mind is the feeling that I want to evoke from when you read my words. So I start with that and then I begin to create and write down the words on the page that I think will evoke that emotion from you. So from there, my end helps me to create my beginning and my middle to give you a really good product. Now, that brings me into Oh gosh, sorry. That brings me into, um, what is it called? Making, it's make, when you take all the good pieces and you make it a whole. Sorry about that, you guys. So that's my synergize. And for me, this really kind of came into play with, I have all these great pieces. Another example. I've written chapters of a book, so I might have chapters one through chapters five. Now, I have all these great chapters. They all have great content. You know, they all have put down words that make you feel something, but all they are is really good chapters until I put them all together. Then it becomes a really great book. Otherwise, I just have some, some good pieces. Some good pieces here, some good pieces there. But when you can bring all of that together, it really makes it a great whole. And that's what Synergize is. It's taking all of your good pieces and making your whole something really awesome. Next, we have sharpening the saw. And to me, sharpening the saw is, you know, when I was reading it, it said, you know, it encompasses all of the seven habits, which is really cool. But what I really liked about it was that it was saying that you are your best asset. So I am my best asset. I am what I'm the person that makes things happen. I am in control of who I am right now and who I want to be in the future. When I take all of these things and put them together and, it, and it's telling me that I have to really go through my four dimensions of renewing myself. So I've got my physical, I've got my mental, I've got my spiritual, and my emotional and social. With my physical, it's basically me taking care of myself. It's me making sure I eat right, making sure I exercise, which I'm really, really bad at. I'll start. Anybody ever did that? You might start your exercise program one or two days, and then I know you have it. You're, you're, you're a beast with it. I'm, I'm not. I'm a mouse with it. <laughs> I like the outcome of the exercise. I don't necessarily like the exercise, but that's, that's basically what the physical is. Making sure you eat right, getting some good exercise, making sure you get some good rest. Then you have your mental. And that's really just you thinking, making sure that you're aware of who you are. You wanna make sure you continue to learn, make sure you have your critical thinking skills going, it's you really trying to take care of who you are, making sure you're, that you're always aware of where, where you're at, where, where, what picture you're evoking. You know what I'm saying? Then you have your spiritual. And this one is just really more of a personal nature. It's really you getting down to like the core of your own set of values. So it might be daily affirmations. I do those. I don't know if anyone else does. I look in the mirror every morning and say, you know what? You're great. You're beautiful you're strong. Remember that. Be you. It might be reading your scripture, which I actually do in the evening, but it, it's just really you. Then you have 
your social and emotional. And these two really go together. They connect with one another. This is like, you might, let's take a significant other or husband, wife, whatever the case may be. A lot of the times, that person's emotional state is dependent on their relationship with their significant other. Has anybody in here ever heard the phrase, happy wife, happy life? Yeah, that's, I've seen it. That's, you can ask my mom, she, when she's not happy, we knew it. <laughs> when she was happy, we knew it. <laughs> you know, so when we go with that, it, you want to make sure that when you're working on all four of your dimensions, that you're actually working on all four. You can't neglect one or work on one more than the other because that will really have a negative impact on all of them. To recap, I want you guys to remember all seven habits are equally important. We have to use all of them to make us a better us. You want to always be proactive. By being proactive, you're taking the initiative and then you're doing it. You want to begin with the end in mind by envisioning where you want to go and then taking the steps to make it happen. You want to it first thing put first things first and that's basically remembering the difference between being a manager and being a leader you want to always think win-win because there's enough out here in this universe for each and every one of us to get a piece of the pie you want to seek to understand then be understood because Practicing your empathic listening is really important. Always listen with your heart. And remember, envision their words with your mind. I don't know if you guys remember me saying that, but it's really important. You want to make sure you have synergized. That's just basically taking all of the pieces of your really good life and making it a great one. Then you want to sharpen your saw. Remember that you are your best asset. You're your best asset, and you should always believe in yourself. That's my time. I want to thank everyone, and I hope you all have a great day.